Yashodananda Yamuna Tira Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chaiva Narotamam Devim Sarasatim Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudirayat Nasta Praeshu Vapadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhakti Bhavati Naishtaki we're reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 6, Chapter 9, entitled The Appearance of the Demon Vritasura, text number 39. I think that this is just prose, right? This is they can we can chant this I don't know that it I don't know huh it, it, it this is not it, it's prose it's written in a like a sentence you know it's not put not a verse So we'll just we'll just say the word meanings and you can go through it. Ataha, Ataha. therefore, therefore. Vava. Vava. indeed, indeed. Tava. Tava. you are Mahima. Mahima of glories. Amrita of the nectar, Rasa of the mellow, Samudra of the ocean, Viprusha by drop. 
sacred. Only once. Avalidaya. Tasted. Swamanasi. In his mind. Nishyandamana. Flowing. Anavarata. Continuously. Sukena. By transcendental bliss. Vishwamrita. Forgotten. Drishta. From material sight. Shruta and sound. Vishaya Sukha of the material happiness. Lesha Abhasa the dim reflection of a tiny portion. Parama Bhagavata, great exalted devotees, Ekantina, who have faith only in the Supreme. I, I've got it, I've lost it then. <laughs> Maybe you just read it, Guru Mani.
who are expert in the interest of life. He. Indeed. Indeed. Who have accepted you as the super soul, their most lover and friend? Who have accepted you as the super soul, their most lover and friend? The devotees. Service to the lotus feet of your Lordship. Can give up. of birth and death within the material world. Translation. Therefore, O killer of the Madhu demon, incessant transcendental bliss flows in the minds of those who have even once tasted but a drop of the nectar from the ocean of your glories. Such exalted devotees forget the tiny reflection of so-called material happiness produced from the material senses of sight and sound. Free from all desires, such devotees are the real friends of all living entities, offering their minds unto you and enjoying transcendental bliss. They are expert in achieving the real goal of life. O Lord, you are the soul and dear friend of such devotees who never need return to this material world. How could they give up engagement in your transcendental service? Purport by Srila Prabhupada. Although non devotees, because of their meager knowledge and speculative habits, cannot understand the real nature of the Lord, a devotee who has once tasted the nectar from the Lord's lotus feet can realize what transcendental pleasure there is in the Lord's devotional service. A devotee knows 
that simply by rendering service to the Lord, He serves everyone. Therefore, devotees are real friends of all living entities. Only a pure devotee can, pre can preach the glories of the Lord for the benefit of all conditioned souls. Om Ajnana Timarandasya Kyananjana Shalakaya Chatsur Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Manobhistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Bandeham Shri Guru Shri Yatapada Kamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavamscha, Shri Rupam Sagratatam Sahagana Raganatam Vitam Tam Sajevam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakanitamscha Hey Krishna Karana Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gorange Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamani Hari Priya Vancha kaupata rubyascha kripa sindhu vayevacha patita nam pavane vyo vaishna vipyo namo namaha jai shri krishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda shri apreta gadadha shri vasadi gorbhakta vinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So we're hearing the demigods offer prayers to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The demigods were in a very dangerous situation because they were facing a very great powerful demon named Vritasura. So they're offering prayers to the Lord for their protection. And they're describing the glories of devotional service. We are describing how anyone who tastes the nectar of devotional service, then they can never give it up. So someone may say, well, we see people come to Krishna consciousness and they do give up, they go away. So we could say they never tasted the nectar. They never really tasted the nectar, otherwise they could never go away. On, on the other hand, we could say that they did taste the nectar and they can never forget the nectar, even though they go away. So 
they, they can never forget. Hmm. Just like sometimes you meet someone who used to be a devotee and you say, Oh, hey, how are you? I haven't seen you in a long time. And they'll say, Oh, yeah, I guess I'm in Maya. <laughs> Yeah, they, they know, they know what, they've been in Krishna consciousness and they know the difference when they go out of Krishna consciousness. They go back into the material world, into the miserable world of Maya. But those who are actually staunch devotees, they remain chaste to the Lord and they continue to serve Krishna. And they will do their best to try to distribute Krishna consciousness. So, Srila Prabhupada says here how the devotee who is preaching Krishna consciousness, he's performing welfare work for the benefit of all living entities. Of course, every day when we offer our obeisances to the Vaishnavas, we, we're saying that uh, to the Vaish they're full of Vaishnavas are full of compassion for the fallen conditioned souls. And so Srila Prabhupada is saying the same thing in the purport here that the devotee is the real well wisher of all living entities. They're actually doing something good for the world. Because they're preaching the glories of the Lord and because they're chanting the holy name of the Lord, so they're doing actually some good for this whole planet. Each and every living entity is a part and parcel of the Supreme Lord. So everyone has a relationship with the Lord, but because of the material energy, we're in forgetfulness. We're in the bodily consciousness of life and we're thinking about how we can be happy by making the body happy. Even the demigods have that problem. Even the demigods are in bodily consciousness of life. They're thinking about being happy, the, the demons come, oh they worry, oh this demon coming, he's going to stop our happiness. But actually the real vision of the devotee is that the devotee doesn't care happiness or distress. His only thought is what is pleasing to Krishna. We hear Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's prayer in the Shikshastakam. In the final verse he says, Even if you make me broken hearted, still you are my worshipful Lord, unconditionally. So pure devotional service is unconditional. 
We are very conditional what we want to get from our devotional service. So while we're devotees, we're not really pure devotees, we are mixed devotees. No, I, oh yeah, we want to chant Hare Krishna, we want to please Krishna, but we also expect we should get happiness, we should be happy, we should enjoy the material world. We have our own conditions, what we want to get from Krishna. But the pure devotees, they simply want to give whatever Krishna wants. They have no conditions. They're, they'll be, they'll accept whatever condition Krishna puts them in. So that is the standard of pure devotion. And devotional service is not only unconditional, it should be also uninterrupted. And that it will continue 24 hours a day. That it, it, there's no consideration of, oh, this is for Krishna, now is my time for Krishna, and later on, but I have to do my other things. We put aside everything for Krishna, but the pure devotee, he will arrange this time that everything is done for Krishna. The, the devotee will think of everything, every, every service, every engagement which he is doing, it's simply for the pleasure of Krishna. So in this way the devotee is happy. Akama sarva kamu va moksha kama udharati tevrena bhakti yogena yajeta purusham param. That whether one has all material desires or no material desires or whether one desires liberation, still whatever condition one is in, still one must worship the Supreme Lord Krishna. So we cannot say that devotional service is only for the pure devotees. It's for everyone. But the goal is to become pure devotees. So the demigods, they are appreciating these pure devotees. They are appreciating these great souls who have tasted the nectar and who have given up everything for the service of the Lord. So there are many examples of great devotees like that who give up everything for the service of Krishna. And we have Bali Maharaj is the example of someone who surrendered everything for the Lord. Bali Maharaj is the example of someone who surrendered everything for the Lord. 
of God. We cannot do that. We're not ready yet to give up everything. We have to focus on hearing and chanting. By hearing and chanting carefully, then we can purify our consciousness. And then with the consciousness purified, then our mind can fix itself better on the Supreme Lord. And then we can engage in remembering the Lord. In Brihad Bhagavatam Rita, we can read about Gokumara traveling through the universe. And he went up to Tapaloka, where the four Kumaras live. So in Tapaloka, everyone there, they, they are lifelong celibate. And they are engaged in meditation on the Supreme Lord. They are all practicing Asanga Yoga and they are at the stage of Samadhi. So Gokumar, he had been in Jagannath Puri and he had been he had the opportunity to associate with Lord Jagannath there and he, was, he had enjoyed the association with Lord Jagannath. But then he heard about the heavenly planets and he thought, oh, there will be more opportunity to enjoy devotional service more there in the heavenly planets. So he went to the, by the power of the mantra given to him by his guru, he was able to go to the heavenly planets. And when he got there to the heavenly planets, it happened that Indra, the person who was in the position of Indra, had done something wrong and he had to disappear. So they needed someone to take the place of Indra. So they made Gopkumar Indra. So Gopkumar became the king of heaven and he was in the he was associating with all the demigods and he saw how the demigods argue with each other and how they're envious of each other and they fight with each other. Although there was so much opulence and they enjoyed long life and they had so many special powers which are much greater than what we have on this planet. But he saw the problems there in the heavenly planets also. So wherever you go, even you go to the heavenly planets, there's problems there. You don't get away from problems. And then he heard there were planets above heaven. So he went to these planets above the heavenly planets. There's Maharloka, where the devotees, where great sages reside, like Brigu, and they're performing sacrifices. And the Lord personally appears in the fire of the sacrifice and accepts the offerings. So 
And then he went to Tapal, but he, but, but he, he thought the Lord is not there all the time. He disappears, he goes away. He didn't know where the Lord goes, but he appears, he will accept offerings, then he goes away, disappears. So Gok Kumar was thinking, I want to be with the Lord all the time. I want to be with Him every moment. And so he was thinking maybe he should go back to Jagannath Puri. But actually, where he really wanted to go was Vrindavan. Because in Vrindavan he could enjoy everything with the Lord. And so even the demigods, they're in heaven, they're, they're not peaceful, they're not satisfied. And they're appreciating the pure devotees who are able to simply absorb themselves in serving the Supreme Lord. So that is the mood of Vrindavan, the mood of the pure devotees in Vrindavan. They, are, they have no desire for their own sense gratification. They just simply want to be serving Krishna. They will offer everything for the service of Krishna. So, when Gokumar went to Tapaloka, he met Sanatana Goswami, uh, Sanat Kumar, he met Sanat Kumar, one of the four Kumaras. And he learned the importance of controlling the mind. We have to fix the mind, control the mind, get the mind free of all contamination. So long as we have contamination in the mind, then we cannot see the Lord. So we are here, we have come to this Jagannath Mandir today, not different from Jagannath Puri. You can see the Lord constantly here. It's an opportunity to purify the mind. To see the Lord constantly and to engage in His service. Okay, so we're going to stop here now because you have seminars today. Last day of seminars. Last day. Today is the last day. Jintian Sui Ho Yi seminar. Nima Shiao Chan Chan. Look at Shao Shi, the car. Adibo. Retreat. Okay. Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada ki. Srila Bhagavatam ki. Gaur Bhakti Vrinda ki. Solina Bhakti Vrinda Maharaj ki. Yeah.